Hi, this is Dr. Jim Toner, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about IVF's risks. There are some, but most are minor and rare. As you can see on this slide, I broke it into three major sections. Ovarian hyperstimulation, this occurs to a minor degree in many IVF cycles, manifested as abdominal swelling and discomfort that occurs generally a few days after egg retrieval. In some cases, drainage of accumulated fluid is quite helpful, and rarely hospitalization occurs. On the uh, issue of cancer, there's been a good number of studies at this point on the link, and uh, luckily, there is no established link between IVF treatments and any kind of female cancer. And lastly, multiple pregnancies. This has been a, a big issue in IVF over the years, but the incidence is being reduced every year because we transfer fewer and fewer embryos as the years go on. In our clinic, hardly ever do we put back more than two embryos. Accordingly, we rarely get any more than twins. This slide shows risks that are related to pregnancy following IVF treatments. It's not known whether these are actually due to the IVF treatment or to the underlying condition of infertility. I think that's important to keep in mind. Uh, most of these risks, as you can see, are about double normal, but occur, even so, less than 10% of the time, except for preeclampsia, which is a condition of high blood pressure in pregnancy, and cesarean delivery, which occur in about a quarter of cases. Uh, lastly, I'd like to discuss any risks to the children that stem from IVF treatment. Uh, the format of this slide is, the, is just like the one before. The middle column shows how often the conditions actually occur and the last column, the extent to which these are above the normal rates. Again, it isn't clear whether these are due to the treatment or to being infertile, and if you have any particular questions about these, you can refer to the informed consent document that we've given you. We'd be more than happy to discuss them.